Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile. And today I'm going to be doing the Sock of the Month unboxing for the month of November. So if you are a member of our Sock of the Month Club, by now you should have received your red box. If you are not a member, you can still, excuse me, still subscribe. And you can do so by going to our website and going under subscriptions. We might also have a couple of these boxes left at the end of the month. And that's the same place where you would find the uh, extra boxes that we have for sale. So let's get going. Let's open our box. Now in our sock of the month boxes, we always have some kind of a joke. We try to keep them wholesome. So they're always a little bit corny, but hopefully they won't offend anybody. And today's joke or riddle, I guess it is, is why does autumn have such a difficult time finishing a race? And the answer is because it always happens to fall short of the goal. Eh, okay. And then it says it should try harder and really belief in itself. There you go. You get a smile. At least I hope you did. Then there's another little piece of paper on the top and it says, look at those beautiful leaves. One of the leaves in my box, it says, I'll find a coupon code on. Oh, so let's see. I mean, there are leaves. I don't know if you can see the leaves in the box there, but I do have leaves. So let me, let's see, there's one leaf, two leaf, three leaf, but no code. Ah, here's a fourth leaf. Ah, this one has a code on it. I probably shouldn't show the code though, because then you could use it. But it has a code. Awesome. So this month you get a code. Now, of course, we have a little bit of packaging material in here as well. We'll take that out. Ah, and our little treat of the month seems to be maple leaf candies. Ooh, there we go. Hopefully they're made out of maple syrup. Yum, yum, yum. And then, of course, we have yarn. Now, let's see what we have on yarn. And uh, ah, we do. We have a Zoba ball. And we have a Kid Sata. Look at that. So what are we gonna do with these, do you presume? Hmm, let's look at the sock. This is our sock of the month. And what we have done here is we have just the Zelba ball on the bottom part. And then on the upper cuff part, we actually used one strand of the Zelba ball along with one strand of the Kid Sata to give you a nice warm upper uh, part of the sock. Now, if you wanted to keep your foot warmer than the upper part, you could actually do your foot with the kids set a double or stranded in there too. However, you can't do both. You can't do the top half and the bottom half because you're going to run out of kids set Now, another thing that you could do that Kyle actually suggested um, was to stripe the kids set on the top. And I thought that was pretty cool. Look at that. There you can see he did some rows without the kids set stranded in, and then he did two rows with the kids set stranded in, and then some without and then with. And that looks pretty awesome as well. Now, there is got to be some something else in this box. Aha, look at this. Look at this fun bag. Does that look familiar? Maybe look familiar. You got a matching tote to go with your sock. How exciting is that? So while you're working on your sock, you can just take all your yarns and your needles. You can put them in your little bag. And then when somebody says, oh, what are you working on? What does it look like? You can say, that's what it looks like. Anyways, it's a fun box this month. So we may have some left over. If we do, we'll mention it in our newsletter. And for those of you who would like to sign up for one of our subscriptions, once more, go to the website, look at subscriptions, and that's where you will find them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this unboxing. We'll be back again next month with another Sock of the Month unboxing. Have a really good month. Stay safe. Have fun. Ciao.